for it TV. The world is thinking. And then as we got more confident and more, more grounded, uh, we got bolder. And so, for instance, we created a free store. And not only was everything in the store free, all the goods, but the roles were free. So someone might come in and say, uh, I'd like to talk to the manager. Uh, who is he? <laughs> the only appropriate answer was you. <laughs> and if you just stood there and looked stupid and let your jaw flap, there was no sense blaming the pigs or the system or the man for your personal dilemma. You had been offered a gift and you failed to pick it up. But if you got it and you said, oh, me? Well, this place is a pigsty. Let's clean that. Let's move the televisions out of the window over to there. If you came up with a good idea, we'd do it. So in a free store, are you consuming? Are you a customer? Are you a shop? What are you? So for instance, one day I saw an elderly black woman and she was stealing. Well, she thought she was stealing. <laughs> so I went up to her and I said, you can't steal here. <laughs> and she said, I'm not stealing. I said, well, I know you're not stealing because you can't steal here because it's a free store. And she went, uh-huh. And she thought about it for a second. She said, if it's a free store, get out of my face. So I did. So the next day, she came in with a flat of day-old donuts and left them on the counter. She got it like that. So here was the thesis. The thesis was that if there's technology and machinery on the planet that can make a television set for every man, woman, and child on the, on the planet, and you don't have a television because you don't have the money, the money is a way of inventing scarcity. The money is something that's put between you and the commodity. And all you have to do is trade your life for it. All you have to do is go to work eight or ten hours a day, and they'll give you the money, which you're not allowed to print, and then you can go buy the commodity. But if you didn't care that the commodity was brand new, and you were willing to live off the detritus of this culture, there were TV sets everywhere. There were radios. There was clothing. There was furniture. There was whatever you needed. And there was the free store. And in return for that, you got your life. You got your 24 hours of your time. Now, this was never suggested as a, as a working model for a permanent economy. This was like a three-year-long art project to wake people up to thinking about, are you really a consumer? What does that mean? I mean, what nervy son of a bitch has the right to say you're consuming you're consuming whose stuff? So we wanted to raise that question and make it palpable. I'm not a consumer. I'm a human being. And as far as I'm concerned, the stuff is everybody's. <laughs>